Hello everyone, it's Richard here, this time with another big box update. So last time we had the machine working quite well, the 3D printer was producing some really good results, so obviously I thought it would be a very good thing to start hacking it. Um, and first of all, with some of the mechanical uh, changes that I'm just in the middle of, in the process of making, so I thought I would take a quick video just to show you what I'm doing, and then we can see the results a little bit later on. Okay, so the main thing I'm, I'm doing is moving the Y-axis motor that was in the middle of, over here, was actually positioned here, right over to the left-hand side. And uh, this is so, to, so I've got some clearance, but also to hopefully help with some of the mechanical arrangement issues that I had um, earlier with the machine as well. So that's the main thing I'm doing. I've taken off the extruder and the carriage now is um, going to be taken off as well, because I'm going to replace that with my own carriage and my own extruder designs. The reason why I need a bit more clearance at the back is because the carriage I'm going to put on there is one of my uh, magnetic fitting designs which snaps on like this and it means that once I've got, I need to adapt this carriage design a little bit, but once I've got that design for the big box 3D printer then I'll be able to put all of my snap fit magnetic carriages on. I've designed one already for the E3D Cyclops, which is a really nice dual in, one out, uh, dual in, single out nozzle that can be hopefully fitted with the MagFit as well. So I'll be putting that on the uh, on the 3D printer when I get that up and running and trying it out as long as well as probably all the other E3D hot ends as well. So that's the main thing I'm doing. It's a little bit serious at the moment because it's all taken apart and uh, just about to be reassembled back together. But once I've done that. I'll give you another update. Thanks for watching.